Hello everyone, Antoine here, back again with another video, and today we have an iPhone 7 came from another service with a home button issue, but with working Touch ID. The other service said that the home button is not functional, but the Touch ID is working okay. So, first thing that I opened the device, I saw this crap. As you can see, this is the original screen that came with the device, with a broken the 3D Touch uh, Flex, and they didn't even bother to just uh, change the 3D touch with the backlight or just removing the 3D touch uh, without uh, changing the backlight. So we are going to test the Touch ID functionality on other uh, testing LCD with a working 3D touch. Let me just plug the phone. Here we go. Hoping to see the Apple logo in any second right now. And here we go, the Apple logo and waiting for the device to boot up. And as you can see, there is a white line in the middle of the screen. It's not from the device, it's from the LCD. It's just a uh, LCD for testing, but the 3D touch is working okay without any problems. Waiting to boot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go, let me just put the password. Here we go. Now let's go to settings, the Touch ID settings, and we are going to try to put another or a new finger to see and test the Touch ID functionality. Here we go. Okay, let's go. And as you can see, immediately it says that I'm pressing the home button. And as you can see, without even pressing, on the home button, it's just glitched. So we are going to disassemble the home button and see under the microscope what is the problem to diagnostic and fix the problem. So without any further, let's go. Okay, now we remove the Touch ID and this is the look under the microscope. I'm going to see what the hell is happening and why the home button is not functional. And I also I would like to mention when it comes to you have a working touch ID but non-functional uh, home button usually it comes to the U10 turtle chip or the uh, flex that goes to the upper shield of the touch ID and as you can see it's not damaged and the flex is not damaged or uh, there is a corrosion uh, under the shield that protects the touch ID and also you have to check the connector but as you can see, we have a damaged Turtle IC U10 AD7149 chip. As you can see, there is a very tiny damage on the IC. And my guess that this is the problem that uh, causing non-functional home button. And But I'm also going to check uh, the connector. As you can see... The connector does not look well. We are going to clean this mess up and we are going also to change the IC. So I'm going to speed forward the work and catch you after the work is done. So let's go. Now, of course, uh, I would like to mention uh, also something before we get started. Uh, that I'm going to also to show you the safest way to remove the chip uh, without using the hot air gun. I'm going to use my uh, knife and I'm going to use my uh, soldering iron. And that's it uh, for removing the chip without any heating from the hot air station. And of course, um, I'm going first I'm going to clean the connector and then I will start to remove the chip and place it with a new one. So uh, from this moment I'm going to speed forward the uh, work and I will catch you after the work is done.
Okay, now that our work is done, we are going to test our work. Let me just connect the Touch ID, the LCD, and test the functionality of the Touch ID and the Home button. And here we go. Let's connect the screen to the phone. Here we go. Connect the battery. Last thing to do. And Apple logo. As you can see, let me just plug the phone to the charger. This phone has a very weak battery. Anyway, as you can see today, I have a lot of, a lot, a lot of work to do a lot of phones to fix. So that was an easy and fast fix for me. And as you can see, let me just put the password, remove the glove, test the touch ID. And as you can see, there's no glitch when you are trying to just uh, touching the home button or the touch ID. No glitching for the home button. And let's go and test the touch ID. Go to settings. Here we go. Put the password again. And let's add a new finger. And as you can see, the touch ID functionality is back to work. And everything looks okay for me. He's reading my finger. Just gonna cancel. And as you can see, the home button functionality also working. And our work is done. Now, thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day.